Hey guys, it's Robbie here, and this is Frankie Fit Wolf. All right, so happy Monday, everyone. Um, I am not doing great today. Uh, it's amazing how quickly something can change, and it changed quickly after yesterday's video. Um, my stepmom is in the hospital. If you remember me talking about her, I'm sure you do. Donna, she, uh, she ended up in there actually Saturday night and, um, yeah, her eyes started, she started to not be able to control her eyes. Like it would go off to the side or they'd kind of do this shifty thing and they don't know what's going on. Um, I was hoping that I would wait and record a video today and I would have some answers. But they did the test late last night, and so we won't get results until today. Um, so please keep her in your thoughts and prayers if you do that, or meditations, light a candle, send positive energy, whatever you do, please do uh, for her because she's an amazing woman and I love her and I'm scared for her. Uh, we don't know what's going on. They thought it could be a, a stroke. They tested for that and it wasn't. They still think it could be a mini stroke. So they were doing MRIs last night and other testing and they think it could possibly be a blood clot somewhere. But other than that, there's not really any solid theories on what's going on. And it was coming and going while I was visiting her yesterday. So like where it could happen and then not. And it's kind of creepy to see like just the eyeball like shifting super, super fast. And uh, so, yeah, it's it's a scary situation, especially not knowing what's going on. Um, yeah. And so, uh, yeah. So anyway, I feel for her and not to make her situation about me, but it's just a scare for myself, too, uh, and for my dad. And going to the hospital, especially she went to St. Anthony's, which is a good hospital. I'm not insulting it. But if you guys remember, you know, my mom had passed away and she had spent a lot of time in that hospital, like years and years in and out or like, you know, very long time in there. And so it was very bad, bad juju for me. Like it gave me bad flashbacks and bringing up bad memories of visiting my mom in that hospital. And it's. It's, it's scary. It sounds weird because, you know, it's just a hospital, but literally spent a lot of time there and it, it was hard and especially hard because right now, because of COVID, only one person is allowed in the hospital at a time to visit somebody. So anybody else that is there, like my dad obviously was going to spend the whole day. He was there and it's only between 10 and six too. Um... But so when I go to visit, he has to physically check out and be outside of the hospital before I can check in and go up to her room. So we can't even have that like family support there. We basically had to take turns and it was awkward. Um, but she's keeping up a brave face. She's she's scared, obviously. Uh, she cried a couple times, of course, but uh so did I. So, yay. Luckily, not there. I was keeping my strength up for her because uh, something you got to do, like, no matter how much something is bothering you, you're not like, no matter how much it was bothering me, let's just put it bluntly. Like, I'm not the one in the hospital bed. That is the scary part. And so I couldn't be weak when she's being weak. Like, let her be let her be weak and I'll be strong for her. And, you know, we just kind of take turns. And then I came outside and talked to dad and, you know, tried my best there and everything. And then I came home and uh, I, like I only spent an hour there because my dad was just standing outside like they had benches. So I don't know why he wasn't sitting. But the entire time I was there, like I said, it was about an hour. He's just standing outside and it was a little chilly and, and everything. So I was like. I feel bad that I'm just standing out there. But then also Donna was, you know, she was getting sleepy because she normally has, you know, anti-anxiety medication and they weren't letting her have any of it. 
so she she didn't sleep the night before so it was just a bad scary situation all around especially until we know what's going on i have not looked up on webmd what that could be because you know webmd everything can be diagnosed as possible death and i don't need that right now uh so yeah so it's it was a stressful day and i ended up falling asleep at like 5 p.m and not waking up until like 11. So it wasn't like a short little nap. So we know that means Robert stayed awake all night uh, after that. Like, I think I might have gotten like an hour of sleep because I remember seeing the clock at five in the morning. <clears throat> and my first uh, alarm went off like usual on my phone and woke me up. So maybe I got an hour of sleep. I'm not sure. But it was a long night and now my back hurts because i don't know why i guess because you're tense and maybe using muscles while you're awake but if i'm in bed asleep i'm fine but laying in bed awake for a long time starts hurting my back so that's cool Let, let's just throw that on top of everything else luckily it's just an ache right now like it's throbbing but not like the major, major back spasms. But yeah, well, cross your fingers that today at the salon, I don't have anybody with super long hair that I've got to be half bent over to do or a perm because both of those kill my back. <clears throat> but yeah, so all of this led to uh, a, a cruddy day. I behaved food wise, but Late at night, I did eat some gummy bears, some sugar-free gummy bears from nutstop.com because they were there and I wanted something su sweet, but I tracked them all. And it's funny, they're not that high in calories. Like, I think, like, I had, like, 200 calories, blah, 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 200 calories worth, but that ends up being, like, 15 or more points. I forgot the exact whatever it was. But either way, I stayed within my weeklies for the day and I stayed I, and you know I used all my dailies. But I do think because it was late night food and it was more than just my dailies, so it makes sense I expected a little bit of a gain. Um I did step on the scale this morning and I am at 315.4. So that means I gained 2.8 pounds since my weigh-in yesterday. I'm okay with that. One, because I don't know how much of it is true and how much of it is due to lack of sleep. And due to the fact that, you know, I ate those in the middle of the night. But I, especially, like, it's like when you're weighing yourself after being awake for X amount of hours. Like, your body flushes and loses stuff during sleep. Uh, I know the proper terminology. I just, my brain's not working right now. Just because I am really tired, but I can't sleep. Um, so, I'm not too worried about that that gain, especially, you know, what, what did I gain last week? On Monday, I went up 3.4 pounds and I was still able to end the week with a loss. So I'm hoping that happens again this week. Um, you know, life's going on and it's not always great, especially I'm like, and I'm not trying to be Debbie Downer all the time on here. And I feel guilty about that, but like, holy, holy crap. I am so tired of one thing after another happening that I, like, again, not trying to make this situation about me, but I'm like, I can't catch a break. I have this issue. I am working on solving it. Let's throw this issue in. Now let's throw this. Now let's throw Don in the hospital. Like, can we not for just a little bit, just make things okay for just a little bit? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm like a whiny child. I'm sorry. And um, sorry for saying sorry. I know it's something you guys are I'm working on. I'm trying not to apologize so much. But with me sharing as much as I do now on here and not just, you know, food and exercise and me sharing actual a little bit more about me, like, I do feel guilty about being so negative all the time. And like, you know that... I am at heart a positive peppy person and it's just life's throwing some curveballs that I can't handle all the time. I can't handle easily. I'm not like, you know, 
so far gone because of everything, but I'm just tired of it. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. But yeah, so long story short, I behaved food-wise. I didn't behave exercise-wise or um, sleep-wise. And maybe not water. Yeah, probably didn't have enough water yesterday either. All of those things. Um, but when you sleep half the day and then you're awake all night, and all night I'm trying to sleep. I'm trying to like, maybe I can get back to sleep. Because I wasn't enough, but I wasn't able to sleep. Uh, meanwhile, I finished Kim's Convenience on Netflix, season four, and hopefully season five comes out, you know, whenever they can record and all that jazz, because it's an amazing show. But that was the excitement of the... Oh, and I also did tie-dye a shirt. It's in a bag right now, because it's got to sit for 12 to 24 hours. So I'm going to take it out and deal with that tomorrow and show you how, guys, how that came out. That was me trying to keep my hands busy and do stuff. Obviously, it worked for a little bit until I fell asleep. But yeah, so that's where my life is right now. Um, I'm going to behave today food-wise. Uh, that's my goal. I, I, I'm trying to mentally prepare if there's some bad news. Like, I can't even say the rest of that out loud. Um, my plan is to behave on food. I have food planned. So we'll just see how the day goes. And hopefully by tomorrow, I will have some better news related to Donna that I can share with you guys. Um, so fingers crossed, prayers, all that stuff. And yeah, so that's that's that. I'm, I'm going to start rambling, so I'm going to end this here. So thank you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. And I will talk to you tomorrow or later today if, if I need to vent. All right. Bye.